What's up guys, hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we're gonna be putting Magic Lantern firmware onto a Canon T5i. The Magic Lantern firmware that I'm gonna be putting onto this thing is not the crop rec firmware because I can't get this to, I can't get the crop rec to run smoothly, but this is gonna be the nightly build, the stable build from the Magic Lantern site. There's a couple of things that you've gotta do before you put Magic Lantern onto a T5i to make sure it's gonna run smoothly and also, why would you even want to put magic lantern onto one of these so magic lantern is going to take a t5i and make it a camera with adjustable bit rate focus peaking multiple exposure tools you've got a focus pull setting in there that's awesome there's several tools that i use for every video with my t3i that are in this magic lantern build i like to shoot with budget gear and it's a lot of fun to be able to have that much customization and that many features off of a free download. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you have the right firmware onto your Canon T5i. It's 1.15 and you'll get that from Canon's website, but make sure that you're getting the right version for your camera before you put the Magic Lantern onto your camera. Make sure you have the right firmware. I'll also put a link to that page in the description of this video. So the next thing that you're going to do is go to the Magic Lantern website. I'll also put a link to that in the description. And then you're going to look at the main builds 700D or Rebel T5i for firmware 115 right there. The big reason I like using these is right here. Test results, eight passed, zero failed. I uh, like stable builds. I'm going to keep messing with crop rec, but for the time being, I'm going to run this one. Click this. It's going to download to your computer. Go into that download. So the next thing that you're going to do after you have downloaded Magic Lantern, make sure you have a good battery. Make sure you have enough charge on your battery. A full battery is preferable. And then format your card on your camera. And then you're going to take that card out of your camera. Put it in your computer. Then take that Magic Lantern stuff that we just downloaded, highlight everything. You want the ML folder, the auto exec bin, and the ML setup. And then you're gonna take that and you're gonna drag it to your EOS digital. Don't put it in your DCIM. Don't put it in your miscellaneous. Put it right on top of the EOS digital right there. And that's gonna to copy to your camera. You'll see that right there. Then take your memory card out, put it back into your T5i. Turn it on, go to menu, go over to firmware. Again, make sure you're using firmware 115. Go to update firmware. And there it's down, it's put Magic Lantern onto it right now. Then it says, please restart your camera. And then there is the Magic Lantern firmware on our T5i. Then just press your trash can button and you'll have all of your new features. And if you don't wanna be in the Magic Lantern menu, just press your regular menu button and that takes you back to your Canon menu. Hope this helps somebody out out there install Magic Lantern onto their T5i. I'll see you guys later.